Oh, y'all thought these was going to blow up on TikTok and we wasn't going to come and get y'all a banger? We coming with a banger, okay? All right, y'all. So let's talk about what we're making today. We're making these glow-up pads that you've been seeing all over TikTok trending. We're putting our own little swagger to it. We ain't nobody face going to break out. This is about to be a real good recipe. Strap on, hold on to your seats. All you need is a few ingredients. We ain't about to do too much. Are you ready? I think you are. All right, so let's talk about what we got in our kojic and turmeric cleansing pads all right so in this particular recipe guys we have some lemon essential oil lemon essential oil is very good for the face we have some foaming apple surfactant okay safe for baby safe for you that's vegetable glycerin can't go wrong with that lock that moisture in aloe vera Baby, let me tell you, it's soothing. All right. And also, we have some, you could use any kind of glue, glue, what is it? Uh, <laughs> glue, what is it? Glue side, cocoa glue side, um, CC glue side. You can use whatever kind of glue, so, glue side you want to use. I use deco glue side, okay? All right. So, this is how I'm going to package mine. I'm going to package mine in a jar, my pads, put a little bit of solution in it, okay? All right. And so, you could do it in a bottle if you. You want to do like a, a cleansing, you know, where they could just basically take it, put it on their face, clean their face that way. It is totally up to you, okay? So I'm just showing you guys that this is also what you could do with these pads as well, okay? Just clean pads. Um, listen, I'm giving you guys three ways to package these babies. Only thing I need you to do is sell them. All right, so that's some old distilled water, simple regular distilled water that's some turmeric guys now we don't use a whole lot because you know it will dye your fingers and also at the same time it'll dye your clothes countertops and things like that so we just kept it to a minimal that's kojic acid guys it's white water soluble so you don't have to worry about it clumping up or not dissolving in the water okay all right this right here is some citric acid. We're going to use that because we're going to make a 50-50 solution in the end because we're going to bring that pH down to a 5.6. That's also a broad spectrum preservative. You can use whatever preservative you want to use. Um, definitely use a broad spectrum. All right. And so this is also another option, guys, if you wanted to use cocoa glue side. I mean, just... You can customize this recipe to your liking, all right? So that's our apple surfactant. This is pretty good. Let me tell you guys, it don't smell like apples. It's, it's not green. It's pretty good. I like it. I got a little bit of glitter inside of my water, so I'm taking that glitter on out of there. That's right. I'm going to let you guys in on this whole entire thing. I'm not about to edit this stuff out. You're going to see everything. So let me, let me go ahead and pour this into my distilled water, guys. Make sure it's distilled water because you definitely don't want no little fur babies growing into your water. Okay, that's mode, a.k.a. mode. All right. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get that little cheap little Walmart scale out of the way because I'm going to make room for the groom. <laughs> I'm going to make room for the big boy, okay? Because I can't do them Walmart scales. They be off. So make sure you guys invest in the good scale. It's important. All right. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is tear this out. And I'm going to begin to uh, put inside of my beaker my deco glue side. Listen, you can use deco glue side, cocoa glue side. CC, glue side, whatever glue side you want to use, but make sure it foams because that's the most important part of this recipe. When you see people like in the beginning of the video, how I had my daughter and she was blowing bubbles. When you see that, that means that it's a nice, good foaming, cleansing pad. Okay. All right. So the next thing you want to do is um, you want to go and get your turmeric and get everything ready like start bringing all that stuff because now you're about to start working with that okay all right so um in order to disperse this turmeric into the recipe guys you need to make sure you use the vegetable glycerin to do that because if not you're going to have a whole lot of lumps whole lot of bumps whole lot of whole lot of whole lot of lumps okay so put it inside of a beaker or whatever you have stir it into this thing okay make sure it's all the way in there that's that's important guys that is so important 
Okay. Now, the thing about turmeric is this. You will not have turmeric fully dissolve in this mixture. It will not fully dissolve. In fact, it will clog up your pump bottles if you do not do what I'm going to teach you to do in the end. So there are a few tricks and tips that I'm going to teach you throughout this process. That's my kojic acid, by the way. I just wanted to tell you guys that, um, yes, it goes into the water and it just kind of disappears. So you don't have to worry about like, you know, it staying and clumping and stuff like that. All right. So stick and stay, guys, because like I said, I got some stuff I got to tell y'all. So I'm putting this turmeric in here and I'm stirring it in. But listen, 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 Linda, listen. It is so important that you get a cheesecloth. You get yourself something because you are going to have to strain this mixture. Okay, so this is my aloe vera gel. Do not use fresh aloe vera gel because it will not last long in this recipe okay you will get those fur babies and it's not enough preservative to stop that okay <laughs> so get you some nice aloe vera gel you can buy it from wherever you choose to buy it i brought them i brought mine um quite some time ago um back before wholesale supplies plus had purchased element baths and bodies okay element bath and body all right so as you can see i agitated it a little bit it's nice and it foams and you see the color so this is how yours should look now you can put rose or lavender hide your saw in it but me i'm very sensitive in the face so i didn't want to add too much to mine so you can also take out that hydrosol and you can put distilled water in its place i'm i'm telling you my face is very sensitive all right so we're checking the ph and i did not like the ph the ph was about 6.4 so i'm going to go ahead and add my essential oils before i start adjusting the ph then i'm going to give it a nice stir after I give it a nice stir, I'm going to go ahead and um, strain. Listen, this is what I'm using to strain. I'm going to pour it into here and I'm going to strain out all of that turmeric. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what that turmeric looked like. Okay. And if you guys are ready, say ow, ow. All right, there you go. You don't want that stuff inside of your recipe. So make sure you do that important step. And that is to strain it out. Okay. This recipe is very simple, very easy to do. Anybody can do it. Um, these are some face loving ingredients. Okay, so I'm checking my pH again just to see if I just got a little lucky. Okay, <laughs> just a little lucky and I didn't. Okay, so what I had to end up doing is um, mixing 50% citric acid and 50% water. So that means three ounces of citric acid, three ounces of water. If you want to use five ounces of citric acid, you're using five ounces of water. This is on a one to one ratio. Okay, and I begin to drip that, drip that, drip that, drip that into this um, solution until I brought the pH down to 5.6, which is safe for your face okay all right so i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to start pouring my solution over my pads okay now you can buy your pads from anywhere but i suggest you buy them from target or somewhere like you could buy the sponges guys the sponges is so much better because they won't tear up on you like the pads will over time we don't know those pads might just tear up on the customer so i'm going to invest in those cute heart sponges they are on Amazon, by the way. All right. So you're pouring it in there. You want to soak up those pads to the best of your ability and also leave some extra solution on the bottom just in case something dry out and you got some on there so your customer can kind of rotate them out okay all right just like it would be if it was some jewelry solution like you want to leave some in there okay all right so you can package it up this way package it up in a jar or you can take it and package it this way you can put it inside of a pump bottle you could do it like that where you could have a pump um a foamer you could do it that way guys this um recipe made about 20 maybe like 22 ounces all right so i i ended up making me some pads too out of this okay so i had three ways to package them three ways to sell them and it came out pretty good all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was very informative to you the recipe will be on my website patreon and other places see you soon all right